Oh, that was loud. Oh, God, that was loud. What's up, What's up guys? guys? Oh, I'm back. back. <sighs> I'm back. What's up? Now, for those of you that wanted to hear me do some covers, you got that created. <laughs> Starting off with one of my cursors and all. Personal favorite metal songs. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Something, Something is going on with the delay. Ah. ah. Hold on. Ah. 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 Okay, okay, there is a delay going on. So, I'm gonna do it like this. Mm. Bug it. Yeah.
Let's see if we can get this desktop audio to work properly this time. So, hold on. Ooh. Alright, I think it's working. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let me test something out of here. Hold on. No! Okay. I ain't done songs like that in a while, man. Whew. It's been a minute. Yo, Necro, what up? Here's one you guys know. This is actually one I grew up on too. So, yeet. Let me find the. Whoa. What's <laughs> wrong my ass? Let me find the proper thing here for it. Because there's a certain filter that I use with it that actually makes it sound good. So, hold on. Um, uh, oh, here we go. <clears throat> Need symptom relief that goes the distance? Mucin XDM controls cough and thins and loosens mucus for 12 hours. Outpace annoying symptoms with just one dose. We're gonna take about a little, little bit of old school here, just a little. Not much, but just a little with some old school shit. And I think you guys will know this one.
Get ready with Maisie to stay warm this winter. Maisie can stay safe and stylish with her Arcadia Trail coat. Your pet can enjoy the winter weather with you in the latest styles. I just want to say, dude, I am. But here's the problem. They keep free streaming my shit. That's the problem. So, it's not that I'm not trying to get rid of them, because I am. But staying off the internet, that ain't the answer. That'll never be the answer. Not streaming, not being online, that's not the answer. That never has been the answer, and that never will be the answer. Hey, yo, Wazzy, I got you on some Slipknot, dude. Hold up. I got you on some Slipknot, man. I fuck with Slipknot. Because you're always a maggot as well, man. I don't know that one. Sorry, man. I can't say that I know those guys. Sorry, man. But if I ever do come across them, and I was still, I got you. You're such a good listener, Thomas. It makes me feel so special. You are. You are special. If you don't mind, if you could just... This makes me feel really... I'm so glad you're my personal shopper. I'm your bodyguard. Oh, yeah, that's right, right. Day and night, right? I actually only work the day shift. Well, then, who am I talking? Okay, that commercial was very fucking weird. Not even gonna lie, that shit was very weird. Yo, Halsey, what up, man? All I gotta say is one thing.
Before I start this next song, I got one question for you guys. Where's all my fellow knuckleheads at? Where are you guys at right now? Where's all my fellow knuckleheads at, man? Where you guys at? Because this next one is for all my fellow fucking knuckleheads out there, man. This is for all you guys. Because just like you guys, there's one place I live. And you know where that place is? The wrong side of heaven is where I reside. I have a serious question for everyone here. And I mean a very serious question. That does involve me. But it involves you guys even more. Just one question. How many of you guys in the comments right now are sick of seeing me being walked on? and attacked, and slandered, and put down every fucking day. How many of you guys are tired of watching that happen to me? How many of you guys are sick of seeing that happen? are tired of that happening to me. Hmm. How many of you guys are sick of that happening to me, man? How many of you guys are tired of watching? How many of you guys are tired of watching me go through this shit. Because let me tell you right now. I'm tired of living this way. And I need to know honestly. How many of you are sick and tired of watching me go through this. Every day. Being attacked. Being bullied. Being slandered. Being sold wrong. How many of you are sick of that shit. Because I know you guys have got to be tired of it. I know you guys have got to be just as tired of it as I am. I know y'all got to be tired of it just as much as I am. And if you guys are tired of it, 
I need you guys to start stepping up and saying something to these people. Start putting an end to it because this shit cannot keep going on, man. This needs to end. This shit needs to fucking end. Wow. No answers, huh? For real. No answers out of you guys. Really? And Jill, I want to say that I appreciate you stepping forward. Because like I said, what you guys see on camera, that's just a fraction of what I deal with. That's literally just a fraction of what I go through. What, what you guys don't see is what I deal with off camera. And how I fight every day just to get up out of bed. And all the times that I sit there bawling my eyes out. Not just for me. But for my family. Because I want my family to be comfortable in life. And to not live in fear. And to not have to worry about me when they pass. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do anymore. Ah, fuck. Like, I genuinely have no idea what to do anymore. Because it seems like every time I take a step forward, they pull me backwards. I can honestly say that I genuinely wish I knew how to stop these people. I wish to God I knew how to put an end to this shit. I really do. I wish I knew a way to end it. But it's like, no matter what I do, no matter what I fucking do, they come at me. No matter what I do, they attack myself and my family. And I'm tired of my family living like this. I'm seriously tired of living like this, guys. So you know what? I'm going to end this stream right here. And I'm going to make another stream. And <laughs> I want your guys' help. I just, I genuinely don't know what to do anymore.
And if anybody out there is willing to help me, find a way to reach out to me, please. Because I cannot keep living like this. I just wish somebody out there would be man enough to stand up and do something. I really do. I wish somebody would out there, I wish that somebody out there would stop being a coward and actually stand up and say something. Because y'all know what's going on is wrong, but yet no one wants to say something. And I don't understand why. Why do you guys not want to say something? Is because you're afraid of being attacked? Is that it? Is because you're afraid of being made a target for standing up for me? Well, let me tell you something that I learned growing up. If you see somebody getting fucked with the way that I get fucked with, and you're not stepping up and doing something about it, you're not part of the solution. You're part of the problem. So my question to you guys is why are none of you standing up and saying something? Why is nobody stepping up and doing something about this shit? I don't understand. Why is nobody stepping up and fucking saying something? It's because you guys are fucking scared, isn't it? You're scared to step up and say something. Not you, Forza. You're a good dude. I've seen you step up and say shit. I've seen you comment on their shit, dude. So you're good. But what I don't understand is why is everybody so goddamn scared to step up and actually do something about this shit? I don't get it. Why is everybody else so scared to step up and fucking say something? Why is everybody so goddamn scared to put a stop to this harassment or step up and say something? I don't get it. Why is everybody such a goddamn chicken? Why are y'all such fucking pussies? Why are you so afraid to step up and say something? Because like I said, outside of Forza Drifter here, outside of him, not once have I seen anybody step up and fucking say something aside from CIA Hole and this man right here. Besides CIA hole and this man right here, I've not seen anybody actually go on and say something and try to put a stop to it. Because what I'm going through is very fucking real. It's not a joke. It's not a ha 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 ha. Oh, let's, 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 look, let's, let's, let's troll the weird guy. Let's. Let's pretend to be nice and then turn around and be assholes behind his back. No. That ain't gonna fly. Not with me. I'm tired of everybody just sitting on the sidelines being silent. All because they have their fucking job to worry about. Then fuck your job. What's more important to you? 
making hundreds of dollars at a job that you can get anywhere else or actually stepping up and doing what's right and actually saying something. You can always find money. You can always find jobs. That's not a problem. You can always find money. You guys can find jobs anywhere you want. Because you guys are not in the position that I'm in. You guys can go to work anywhere in the world that you want and make money. Me, I don't have that luxury. I don't get that chance. I don't get that choice. Because these people keep me trapped in the situation that I'm in. I don't have that luxury of speaking up and saying, hey, I want a regular job. I don't get to do that. Why? Because they call up there and they get people fired for defending me. Why am I not in job? I can tell you why, Sham, Shamal. I can tell you right now exactly why. Because if I got a regular job, they would do just like they did to my biological father and my good friend Brendan, who unfortunately is no longer with us. They would call up there and call up there until I got fired. And no, it's not a cop out, dude. That's the truth. I don't have the luxury of getting a real job. I don't get that luxury. That ain't a fucking cop out. It's the fucking truth, dude. My friend Brendan, who unfortunately is no longer here. You know what they did to him? They called out there until he got fired. Why? Because he was a friend to me. He was one of the few people that actually had the balls to say something against these fucking people, dude. He was one of the very few that actually stood up and said something for me. And yeah, I'm talking about people like you, Shamel. People like you that can step up and say something, but choose to be silent. Motherfuckers like you that actually see what's going on, you choose to be silent because you're afraid that they'll attack your job. Motherfuckers like you choose to be silent. And when you stay silent, you're not part of the solution. You're part of the fucking problem. When you stay silent and you don't say something and speak up, you're part of the fucking problem, dude. No, that's not what I'm saying, dude. What I'm saying is this. Maybe if you grew some fucking balls and actually said something to these fucking people, something might get done. And here's the thing, dude. I'm not just some random dude. I'm not. I'm not just some random dude on the internet. You can literally look me up, dude. I'm literally a household name. Don't believe me? Look me up. Because, Shamel, I can't fight this battle alone. You clearly don't know what I deal with outside of social media, do you? You clearly have no clue about what I deal with. And what it is that I actually fucking go through. My family gets terrorized every fucking day of the week. Actually, it is everyone else's. And you want to know how it's your problem, Shamel? You want to know how it's your problem, dude? Because I know you're probably still watching this. You want to know how it's your problem? You really want to know how it's your problem. You really want to know that. 
when you stay silent, they get to go after whoever they want. Including you. Including your family. What's up, Jekyll and Hyde? How you doing? When you stay silent, you're part of the problem, not the fucking solution. So my question to you, Shamel, are you going to sit there and let people suffer? Or are you going to step up and say something? Because let me tell you, Shamel, I would do that for you. If I saw somebody fucking with you, you can bet your ass I would step up and say something. And I would. I would do that for anybody here. Anybody in the chat. I would do that for anybody without a second thought. And I have done that for people. I have stepped up and defended people. Because I know at the end of the day, they would do that for me. So, Shamal, to answer your question, you are a major part of the problem when you sit there and you let the hatred roam free. When you let the hate roam free, you're part of the problem. Goodbye. And I'll be honest, I'm tired of all the fucking fakes, dude. I'm seriously tired of all the fake friends. All the people that smile on my face and then turn behind my back and talk shit. And I've seen it. I know who's fake and who's real. I'm not stupid. I know who's fake and I know who's real. And the ones that are close to me, I keep them in my inner circle. The ones that are being fake, I put y'all on a need-to-know basis. So whatever I feel you need to know is what I tell you. You only get to know what I feel you get to know. Not what you, not what I tell everybody else. Because those within my inner circle, within my friend group, within my actual inner circle, they're the ones that get to know what's really going on. They get the details. Every single detail. Y'all backstabbers out here pretending y'all don't get to know shit.
Sorry, y'all. Was taking care of some real quick. One of my friends had messaged me on Steam, and I was replying back. That's why I didn't say anything for a minute. So my apologies. Yes, like I said, because like I said, channel, when you stay silent, the hate is free to roam, dude. The hate is free to roam and attack whoever it wants. Now, I just went quiet for a minute to say something. I just went quiet for a minute to reply to a message from a friend, that's all. And I'm going to be honest. I'm tired of acting like nothing's going on. I'm tired of sitting here acting like the troll shit doesn't affect me. Because it does affect me. Every fucking day it affects me. It affects me, my friends, and my family. I'm tired of everybody saying, oh, just ignore it, it'll go away. No, it won't go away. It will not go away. Unless it is forced to go away. Can you guys hear me? Are we good? Are we good? Can you guys hear me okay? Are we good? Yeah, Jeff and Hyde. What is it? Can you guys hear me, bro? Are we good, guys? Yeah, you probably just had to refresh your thing, dude. That's probably what it was. But you want to know what you guys can do to help? The way that you guys can help is by helping me to come up with a way to stop them from doing what they're doing. Whether that be helping me to find a way to copyright my stuff to where they cannot touch it. Whether that be figuring out a way to go YouTube and social media to actually take action against these people. Because something needs to be done, man. I cannot keep living like nothing's going on, you know? I'm tired of pretending everything's okay when nothing is okay. People say that ignoring it will fix it. No, it won't. These guys have no plans to move on. They have openly said that they will continue to harass me and my family until my parents are dead and I'm homeless. Or until I'm dead. 
They have opened and admitted they wait, they have no intention to stop. What I need is a way. What I need is a way to copyright my stuff to where they cannot fuck with it. I need a way to legally copyright my stuff to where they cannot touch my artwork, my music, nothing. That way I could start making money and I could start getting back on the path to being myself again. Because I want to be myself again. I do. I do not like what these trolls are doing to me and what they're trying to turn me into. I don't like that. I don't want to be that way. I can tell you right now, Jack O'Neill, Forza has seen the transition. Forza Drifter, he's seen the transition that I went through. From being a regular ass dude doing regular content like everybody else, to being attacked almost every day. And even he can tell you, I went from being happy, smiling, posting all the time, having a good time, to now being depressed every fucking day. And I can genuinely say that I'm tired of living this way. I'm sick of living like this. I'm sick of acting like it doesn't affect me. I'm sick of just sitting here and acting like it doesn't affect me. Somewhat, yes, it will. Like I said, I'm still working. I'm still in that transition phase of whether I'm going to get it or not. I'm still in that trial period phase of whether I'm going to get it or not. Oh, Rebecca, what do you have in mind? Because right now, I'm willing to try anything I can to get him to back off. As long as it doesn't make me look bad or sink me down to that level, I'm willing to do whatever I can to stop them. As long as it's not getting into what they want and their demands, and I don't have to lower myself to their standards, fire away. But yeah, Jack and I, like I said, man, I'm still in that transitioning phase of going through the training and whatnot, and they're trying to decide off of my training and the trial period, like they're still deciding on whether I get the job or not, so. And the reason why they're doing that with me is because they've got so many people doing it right now that, you know, they're doing that transition thing of like, hey, we want to put you through this training to see if you if you're fit for this and all that stuff. So I'm still going through that period. But yeah, Rebecca, what do you have in mind? Because like I said, at this point, 
I'm willing to try anything I can to get them to back off. As long as it doesn't lower me down to their level or give in to their demands. So far away, what do you got? And I apologize if I mispronounce your name. I do apologize. Here's the thing, dude. That's not going to help. And you want to know why it's not going to help? Because you know what they're going to do? They're going to turn around and take it. So, yeah. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to force me to do artwork. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to force me to do artwork so they can take that artwork and use it. I know you're a little game, dude. I'm not stupid. I'm sorry, but until I get these trolls dealt with, I'm not doing any art streams until this shit gets dealt with. Once it gets dealt with, then I will be doing art streams, but not until then. Because I'm not going to put my artwork at risk. I'm not going to put my merch and my stuff at risk for them to take. I'm not doing it. So, yeah. There's that. I, mean, I would love to do an art stream, but I'm not going to risk them doing this shit to me anymore. I'm not. I'm not going to risk them taking my shit. I'm done with it. 
What you want to see if you're not know you're still watching this too, fucker. What you want to see if this stream's done, I'm going to come in and I'm going to motherfucking report your ass. And get you shut down, boy. Because you're saying that take on my shit, that's my property. This stream, my property. So yeah, you are going to be reported whenever I see that stream up, dude. I don't think you can hide. Because you can't. I'm your dude. You're good, Jekyll. I was actually getting ready to end the stream here in a couple minutes anyway, so you're good, dude. You're totally fine, bro. It's all good. If any of you guys have a way to put an end to this, realistically, and not some stupid shit like, oh, doing an ultra is not way to end it, no. That's all good, man. I said, y'all, I do seriously need help stopping this shit. Like, I do genuinely need help stopping these people, man. Oh, you're good, Aubrey. It's all good. But like I said, man, I do want the help to stop these people. But like I said, I don't know what to do. Because my family has gone down every legal avenue we can. We've gone to the police. We've gone to the FBI. We've gone to everyone that we can, and yet we get nothing in return. Because like I said, man, I'm tired of just sitting here and acting like everything's okay when nothing is okay. I'm tired of acting like nothing's going on. And not gonna lie, Aubrey, why the fuck does that rainbow cat look like fucking gumball bouncing his head around? Like, seriously, sit back and look at it, and you can't tell me that that guy looks like fucking Gumball bouncing his head back and forth. And yes, I watch Amazing World and Gumball. I watch that shit. And for all y'all that hate on me for that, you. That show is funny as fuck. I just heard about Gumball a couple of years ago and I started watching and I've been a fan since. I've been a fan ever since I started watching it a few years ago, man. It's fucking awesome. I love it. Because, like, the shit they do with is so relatable. Like, it really is relatable. I 
right, take care, Aubrey. And Aubrey, if you come up with any ideas, if you can, Aubrey, spread word about what's going on, like to your coworkers. Like, if you can, sit down, talk to them about what's going on. And if you need me to email you something here in the next week or so, whenever I'm out of Facebook jail, I will personally send you the stuff that I can to explain the situation. Dude, I'm 33, man. I still watch Funky Old. Bro, I still watch Tsunami on Saturday nights, dude. I still watch Tsunami on Saturday nights. But still, I've not stopped watching anime. Even as a kid, I used to watch it, and I still watch it. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did catch the brand new season of Demon Slayer. Fucking love it. Super dope so far. But like I said, man, I'm just a normal dude trying to make a living. You know, and that's why I need all the help I can get to put a stop to this shit. You know, like it. And I know you'll agree with this, Jekyll. I'm 33, one normal 33-year-old, one normal 33-year-old should have to deal with this shit. Like, I'm 33 years old, man, I should be making money right now, I'm not dealing with dumb shit. Like, people are trying to fuck me over. Cause this shit ain't normal. It's not. What these people do, it's not normal. These people clearly have something wrong with their head. And I'm not saying that to be an asshole. Like, I just, like if you take a look at them, there is genuinely something wrong with them. And I have to tell you right now, if a therapist got a hold of these guys, Oh my god, that therapist would have a fucking field day, dude. Dead ass. Like, that therapist would have a fucking field day if they knew what was going on with these people. And I know everybody's saying, like, oh, you know, go to a therapist, they help. And to an extent, like, back when I was seeing a therapist a few months ago, it did help to an extent. Oh, I know. I've seen this shit, dude. It's fucking insane to me and how they can get away with this. Like, it makes no sense, dude. And I can tell you the secret as to why they don't want me on Twitch. I can tell you why they don't want me on Twitch. Because Twitch don't take their shit. They want to be able to talk shit. Which is why they got me banned off of Twitch in the first place. That's why I lost my job with Twitch. 
and everything I had going with them. Sponsors, everything, gone. Because they want to be able to talk shit, and Twitch won't allow that to happen. That's why they did what they did to get me banned. That's why they mass reported me so that I got banned so that they can do what they do. Like they're doing now, I'm talking shit. Oh, Twitch is very good, dude. And one month alone, dude, and one month alone, I made $116, dude. And one month alone. I know it's not much starting out, but I know that $116 on the norm, I know that's not much to the regular average person, but you got to think, dude. Starting out at $116, $111, just starting out for having 20 subs, 20 plus subs, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Having 860 some followers, and 20 of those 800 and some followers being paid subs, that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Now you take that $111, and you put that shit into a bank account and let it build up over time. You're looking at good money in the long run. You let that shit build up for two or three years, dude, you're looking at some pretty damn good money. And I want to be able to get subscribers on here, but in order to do that, I have to get my phone set back up so I can do that. Otherwise, I won't be able to do it. Because I know there's people on here that want to subscribe, that want to get, you know, the special emotes, the stickers, all that stuff. Like, I know there's people that want to get that. But, unfortunately, I can't set that up until I get my phone on. So, yeah. Why was I kicked off? You mean off of Twitch? Because they mass reported me for something I did not do. They were saying that I was doing stuff outside of Twitch that I was not doing. Twitch didn't specifically say what I had done, but their whole thing was I had supposedly done something outside of Twitch. When I did not do anything outside of Twitch. They had literally used, the trolls had used the videos from two or three years prior to make it look like I was currently doing stuff outside of Twitch that I was not doing. And then I ended up getting banned. And now every time Jekyll, what are you telling me to check? Because I'm confused. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I am literally confused right now. Like, what are you trying to say? I'm like, sorry, my brain's freaking scatterbrained right now over trying to figure out what you're trying to say. Sorry. Oh, didn't someone check the report? I don't know. I genuinely do not know. I wish I did know, though. Honestly, dude, I would love to talk to a real person at either Twitch or at YouTube. 
Actually, I'd love to talk to a real person from both. I'd sit down and explain the situation. That's what I would love to do. I would love to sit down and talk to a real human and actually explain my situation and show them what's actually going on. I would love to do that. When was I banned? Like, earlier last year? It was like July of last year that I was banned. It was like July, June ish. It was like June, July ish, maybe August of last year when I was banned. Like, I was doing good, dude. I had just hit affiliate that week prior to getting banned. I had just hit affiliate. Um, I actually had a couple small time sponsors that were actually sponsoring me. There were actually some really good energy drink companies that I was a fan of. Because I had bought some of their stuff, and they had reached out, and they're like, hey, you know, would you want us to sponsor you? And I was like, dude, absolutely. So I do lose a lot, man. I had some sponsors. I was doing good. I don't think people do. Yeah, you're definitely right, man. I don't know if they do or not. But at the same time, though, somebody has to tell them what to do, you know? Somebody has to program all the bots in the AI what to do. And tell them what to do. So, I mean, there's definitely people there. There's definitely got to be someone there. Because who else would program these bots? Who else programs the AI, you know? So, there's definitely people there. My question is, though, how do I reach out to those people and make them aware of what's really going on? And that's the thing, dude, like, I need to talk to an actual human being at one of these two companies, whether it's Google or whoever. Because in case y'all didn't know, Google does all of YouTube now. Yeah. Yeah, guys, you have that. That's crazy, dude. That is seriously fucking crazy.
But now y'all see what I deal with. And see, and that's why I want to get away from YouTube entirely. I want to get away from YouTube and stream on here or on Twitch and actually make money without the trolls getting in the way, but it's almost impossible for me. It's impossible because the minute they find out that I'm doing something, the minute that they that the trolls find out I'm doing anything to make money, and they know that I make money at it, they do whatever they can to shut it down by mass reporting it. Which is why it's so hard for me to make money anymore. That's why it's hard for me to make money on here, on Twitch, because they shut me down and they do whatever they can to stop me. Like I said, I don't want to be a part of YouTube anymore. I've been retired from YouTube for a while now. The only reason why I post on there is because I basically have to. Not because I want to, but because the trolls are basically forcing me to that point to where I'm having to respond, and I don't want to respond. I don't want anything to do with these people. But every time I try to run and get away, they somehow fuck me over. And it's not cool. And like I said, the minute they figure out that I'm making some sort of money, they do whatever they can to shut me down from making money. Because they feel that I don't have a right to make money. Which actually, in all actuality, is a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Matter of fact, let me look that up just to double check. I was going to throw the amendments here.
right here, 14th Amendment. 14th Amendment of the Constitution. All persons born are naturalized in the United States as subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state where they, were, where they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of the law, nor deny any person within the jurisdiction to equal protections of the law. Which is basically stating that these people are basically violating the 14th Amendment by making it to where I am not allowed to make a living. That is literally a violation. Now, now, let me look this up again. Let me look up another form of what I'm seeing here. Right here, here's the, and these guys right here are, these here guys, the old man, this is all five of them. The critic, have you ever been in a relationship? You got the critic, you have the passive aggressor, the narcissist, which is Marty, or Kate, as well. The narcissist acts like he or she is God's gift to the universe. Now everything is in. The universe knows everything, is the best of everything, is not afraid to tell you no matter how smart or experienced you are, you can never measure up to this persona. Narcissism is considered a personality disorder and is toxic. And narcissists face hair or herself on a pedestal and looks down at you. You may feel you are competing with this person in every situation. Narcissists are often unwilling to compromise, lack insight and empathy, and want to be the center of attention. They may ruin special occasions such as your birthday or milestones in your professional career because they are because they constantly need praise, even when it's someone else's time to shine. And narcissist actually hates him or herself. Narcissists have very thin skin that is easily pricked and easy to get under, which I have done at the party. Which releases rage 
and hate because their self-esteem is marginal. Narcissists are willing to destroy everything and everyone around them when they feel hurt or rejected. The Stonewaller. Stonewaller, Stonewaller refers to an act of refusing communication to avoid the issue. Many people may have heard Stonewaller. A person who refuses to engage in conversation or share feelings, blah, 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 blah. Right here. The Stonewall may come off as cold and refuse to admit there is a problem, but refusing to communicate creates negative feelings and barriers that make it difficult for a further successful relationship. Additionally, it causes you to our feelings, resigning to blah, 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 blah. But that first one, the narcissism, that's what these guys are, man. They're fucking narcissists. These guys are literally all fucking narcissists, dude. Like, these guys are literally all fucking narcissists. And they are definitely sociopaths as well. Like these guys are clearly sociopaths, they're clearly psychopaths, and they're definitely fucking narcissists. Like all three of those things add up. Because these guys clearly don't have anything better to do. They act like they're better than me. They act like they're right and not wrong. They act like I'm the wrong one. But yet, when confronted, they get real fucking quiet. Look at all the times that I confronted Music Biz Marty. He got quiet real fucking quick when I confronted him. He got real quiet real fast. But then every time I confront the others, they talk over me and they're always like, Oh, you're, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're fucking, you're wrong, you're, we're right. We're going to do this because we're right and you're wrong. Oh, you're good, dude. You're all good, Jekyll. You're all good, brother. No worries, man. You're all good, dude. But these people, they clearly need some serious fucking help. Like, they clearly need help. And that. But with that being said, guys, I am about to bounce right now because we got lunch being ordered, so I'll bounce off and wait for my lunch to get here. And then I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to try. Two or try to attempt to do a fun gaming stream for you guys. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm going to attempt it. But I will catch you guys later on. And like I said, if anybody has. A way to reach out, like to reach out and stop all this shit, or attempt to make a stop to it. Um, 
If you guys do not have my Facebook, here is my email where you guys can email me anytime. So you guys can email me anytime, day or night. Um, once I get my Facebook back, I will put my Facebook out there for you guys to be able to message me. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, to all my legitimate fans out there, I fucking love you guys. And to all the trolls out there, sit and fucking rotate. And, uh, I'll catch you guys later, man. I love you guys. Peace.